Um, uh, let's hop back on to tier seven. I need to get get my win in the key. I've got, so I've actually got this fully upgraded finally for the first time, but I want to try to get like uh, about 80,000 experience on it, so that way when the rest of the line comes out, if I don't get them like in the missions that they've got going on for the bombers, if I don't get them in a mission, I already have the 80,000 experience for it. That makes sense. If that makes sense. All right, we got Lone Walk, we got Lone Wolf, we got Enchilada. Who the heck's on our team? Mark it on I-210. Uh, I hope he's good in it. TU-1, that thing's scary the friggin' plane. Yeah, Epic, I'm, I'm doing the same, man. Um, it's it's just a completely different mentality when it comes to those those bombers, doesn't it? And they all play a little bit differently, you know. The Germans different than the Russians, which is good. It's a good thing, right? It's funny. I've actually heard a couple different ways to play, like different different planes. Even the same. So like, I've gotten two different tips on Russian planes. Russian bombers, anyway. One is to fly up as you know, pretty high, and then, um, hello, sir, and then dive bomb down. Seems pretty viable. Another is to just always be low, and that way you're kind of in and out. And I've seen them flown with success each way. So I like that, that, you know, you've got more than one option with a plane. Can't let a TU-1 live. Um, what actually got me to start thinking differently about bombers was this plane I'm about to kill, hopefully, kill this A-26. Um, I bought it because it was on discount, and I figured, I think it was like 30% off or something for gold. And I figured, what the heck, now's the time to get it. Even if I am not good at bombers, maybe one day I will be. And I played it and I really, really freaking like it. And these ground pounders are pounding ground, aren't they? Klaus, and neither, both of them are kind of at full health anyway, so just pick one and go, right? Slow down, slow down, slow down. Got it. I'm, I'm sure you guys saw that. I'm sure I didn't need to tell you that I got him. Hey guys, did you see that? Try not to overheat the gun. Oh, there's a heavy above me. Boost on past him. Thirty. Ah. Four thousand feet away. Oh dang! He got me. Luckily, I was not in the zone. Luckily, I pulled him out of the zone. We were actually able to take the zone thanks to him not being in there. Sweet. I don't know if 
I should be going for this guy or for the other guy. But I'm already locked in on this one, so... I-210. Come on, thank you. Chesta. Chesta Cheetah. Either of these guys coming towards me? No. I prefer to get the guy up top, usually. He's farther away, so. He's significantly farther away, so. How's this? Just tell me I got him, too. Good. Actually, gonna pop over here and go for this garrison. Gonna use the boost just because we can. Oh, that guy's dead. There's a there's a multi roll somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Thought it might be up a little bit higher. Got a heavy over there somewhere. Eh, let's just defend. Keep our keep our points rolling in. Fifty-seven mil of freedom. Trees. I do like good topiaries. Nice! <laughs> Gotta love it when the 57 hits, man. He who hits first with those big cannons. I was actually quite afraid he was gonna... Nice. Yeah, but he's right. Sometimes those 45s don't do what you think they would be doing. Um, I'd love to get the bomber, but I need to get these guys first. Oh man, I've used all my boost. Better charge it up. It's 57 mil on the front of this, right? That is a tank gun. Okay, we can both go for this guy. Ah! Stupid postal. That was pretty dumb. Glad I'm alive still. Kind of surprised I am. All right, get down. Whoa, I'm having a pretty good game, I suppose. There's a light fighter coming in. Ah, uh, shoot. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, it's just an I-210. Never mind, I was afraid. Das bombers. Pull off the gun. Killed my, you killed my freaking uh, pilot, jerk. Jerk face. Okay, 
That's game. Screenshot that bad boy. Boop. Not too shabby. I wonder how many frags I got there. Hey, wish you how's it going, man? Uh, that's like the saddest thing I've ever heard, Wishy. What's up, pup pup? Uh, my dog's pacing for some reason. Did you see the uh, video VBAT posted about uh, Yak19? Ten, almost 10,000 damage to aerial targets. Nice. Not too shabby. I got a really good job on that guy's part. Darn good song, you know it, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. So, oh, please tell me I'm not... Oh, good. <laughs> I was afraid that I was having it go towards the crew. I don't want it to go towards the crew yet until I get 80,000, and that way I'll be ready to go. So one thing I would say, Red, is it starts off a little rough on the TU-1 because you probably don't have a heavy... A Russian heavy fighter pilot or shell gunner and you want to kind of build them up for whenever the heck all the Russians come in um, so the tail gunner really pretty weak until you get them to like four points um, and you want to build it for accuracy because if those 45s don't hit this plane sucks Overly fond of this particular map. Now we got Green Bay on the team, so we should be okay. <laughs> well, fine, wishy. Have a good one, man. I do like the plane, I wasn't sure I would. Um, but it's pretty fun. Pretty unique with those two who had cannons on it. I right, couldn't actually see him for a second. Slow down. Pop. Got frickin' quirk. I sure wish that enemy on my tail would blow up so that way I could uh, you know, have completely taken over the sector. Bombers coming in. Uh, don't crash, Postal. Hey, can you do me a favor, Postal? Don't crash? Okay.
and that 190D can be a freaking pain in the butt, honestly. If you don't hit, if you don't hit it, and it hits you. I'm not hitting, I'm losing my accuracy. Come on, 45s. Okay. Guess I'll have to rely on the 23s. Bomber flight, shall we? Hey, yeah, having an okay game. Come on, forty five hit. Hit. Let him cool off. Uh, so I can do that. Dang, son. Oh, look, an actual bummer. tell when the 45s do hit though because where'd the health go oh another bomber this thing loves bombers nom 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 E51A. What are you doing here? Man, if I hit him, like, I don't know, twice, that would have been super swell. Considering he's in a P51A, I'm really lucky that he isn't paying attention to me. Freaking heavy fighters coming at me. Annoying as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? They still got the sector? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Must have both hit then, huh? Clear, hombre. Hey, hey, got an ace. Pretty sweet. Uh, I should probably get some hit points back. Whoa, 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 whoa! Freaking an aircraft, man. Air 
get an ace and I'll have like 13,000 personal points. You'd think you'd have like 15 at least. Well, that's a screenshot. We all fall from oh, pretty good, pretty good. I guess it's because we weren't actually taking over sectors. We're kind of—we only had two sectors. We're really bouncing around between, right? If that doesn't make you want to play the plane more, I, I don't, don't know what to tell you. I got a pretty good amount of silver out of that. And like I said, just, just because I was flying around killing everything rather than like taking sections, would have gotten more, more personal points if I was taking sections. I did about 2,000, no, oh no, not 2,000, 1,000 more damage in my key 93 though than I did in this game, and, and I didn't get an ace in that game. Uh, but that 57 on that key 93 makes a huge difference. You're able to hit things from so far away. Yeah, pretty darn good battle though. I am definitely glad I was able to obtain this particular plane. Oh, I didn't realize Phantom Zero was on the enemy team. I didn't see any of these guys, did I? I saw this guy, didn't I? But I didn't see him, and he's really good. Phantom Zero is really, really good. <laughs> 